Hey, 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 what's up, NY Pre, my charges? It's Monsters here, my animated back with another episode of Pokemon Flux. So, in the last episode, we got here and we beat the first league challenge, right? We got four emblems and we beat the league boss. And we we're supposed to go back to Condor City. Condor City to speak with um, that guy from Altier Corp. So let's go ahead and do that. So while you're while you're at it, if you're if you're enjoying my videos, please consider liking, subscribing. No me? No take no note you bad man. No take no note you just do that for me. Oh, oh okay. It dropped us right where we're supposed to go. When I did the fly thing. Here we are, back at League HQ. We shouldn't waste time. Let's go inside and see what Altier wants us. Altier Corp wants with us. Um, he said that they'd be waiting for us on the upper floors, right? How do we get there? Kind of running out of breath, guys, for some reason. Hello, how may I help the three of you? Well, we have these letters. Oh my, a personal letter from Altiers themselves? Very well, please follow me. This elevator will will take you up to the top floor. The Altiers are waiting, awaiting you there. Okay, let's go. Altier Corp, what do you think they want from us? It's hard to say, after all. We're just rookie trainers. With one league emblem, we're not exactly top tier. Anima, what do you think? Uh, I think they want to ask us a favor, my guy. I thought that might be it too. But I'm surprised we were f their first choice in that case. Couldn't they hire anyone they want? Here's Mr. Altair. Ah, good. They told me that you three were coming up. I'm glad you're here. Please follow me. Okay, who's this? Looks like Antares isn't here yet. He'll be up shortly. In the meantime, I'm very interested to see for myself these three trainers you speak so highly about. Right. These three are Anima, Sky, and Aster from Sparrow Town. Champ er, former champion Alistair endorsed them personally. My name is Andromeda Altair. I am in charge of the research and development branch at Altair Corp. Additionally, I lead Altair Corp's converse Conser conservation and environmental protection efforts and manage the Moa Plains Nature Preserve. People in nature are precious to me, you see. Hmm, I think I see what my little brother is talking about. The three of you have potential, but there is only so much one can tell with a glance. In order to properly judge a trainer's worth, there is but one true method. Let's see. You. You, I'd like for you to demonstrate your skills to me in battle. Oh, don't worry. I'm no trainer myself. My Pokemon are simply dear companions. Still, I'd like to give you... I'd like you to give it your all. You got this, Anima. Show me how you're ex you express yourself with your Pokemon. That's what Altier, the other Altier, Akila said. But then he almost whooped our ass with this Slutru. Ooh, that's what the fish thing evolves to. Salmosalt? What the hell is that? And Nursa. Alright, so Salmosalt is definitely water something. Nursa is electric something, so. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is not our fire type, it's a Zoroa. Uh, definitely need a better electric attack on this thing. Let's use Nuzzle, just in case. Get you ready to use Vital Shock. 
Yo, leveling in this game is harsh, bro. And battling is definitely not YouTube friendly. I said that in the last few videos, but it's true, bro. The battles are slow. And the leveling, trying to level up, grind, is very grindy. Because you're only, we're only encountering, uh, what do you call them? First stage Pokemon, so they give very small amounts of EXP. For the most part. In the wild. Luckily, the Pokemon that we fought in that tournament actually gave us a decent amount of EXP, so we gained a few levels. What the water type one avoided the Electro Web. And he's the one I wanted to hit with it. Pokemon are such beautiful creatures, are they not? Yeah, they are. Let's hit this thing with another body press. And whoever made these games do beautiful sprite work, artwork. I like them. All right, so. Where did we saw this? We saw a shockwave being sold earlier, right? I think this might be the end of the game though. I'm not sure. Ooh, that's what the cave fish thing evolves to the axolotl. Alright, so let's take out. That's literally a wizard, a fish wizard thing it has a wand in his hand. Or it's tail, or should I say? Alright, so we got rid of some or whatever, some or salt. And we gained a level from it too. Good. Bright Flood. Oh, so Renly goes down. They can't really take Sluchu down, right? Unless they have like grass types or so. Alright, all my other Pokemon are weak against water type. Oh, ice type. I think we'll have to hit that with a steel wing if we can hit it. And again, Salamancer. Hit Salamancer. Not very effective. Yeah, steel wing was super effective, but we didn't get the KO. What's the name of that thing? Nida Regina. Okay. Nida Regina, not a Nida Arena. Or a Nido Queen. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. But bad one, the battle them slow. Oh come on guys. Y'all killing us. <clears throat> Alright, so we beat him. We beat him. Yes, I understand now. We beat her. Ho ho ho. Now I understand. You are a rare specimen indeed. And I'm sure your friends are equally as capable. Yeah, who's this? Oh, that other guy. I heard the sounds of battle. What's going on? Ah, Antares. You're just in time to meet our special guest. These are... We've met. Yeah, we met at the power plant. I am Antares, Altair CEO of Altair Corp. Ever since the former champion endorsed you three, Altair Corp has been watching your adventures quite closely. Good. Watching. Only the good kind of watching. <laughs> oh boy. It's some impressive stuff. The folks at Alba Academy said you defeated Altair Pokemon there and also cleared out one that was causing a roadblock in Alberuk mine. And that's not even mentioning what you did at the Rook power plant. You've definitely been making a name for yourselves. What? That's why my siblings and I are prepared to make you a special offer. What offer? I'll get right to the point. Altair Corp would like to sponsor the three of you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sponsor us? Oh, what does that mean exactly? 
Well, see, it's pretty simple. We give you money and resources and you would represent Altair Corp in return. Though this is sort of a special case. See, Altair Corp technically runs the Pokemon League. If we were to directly sponsor a trainer, we would be accused of favoritism. So we would have to be anonymous. An anonymous sponsorship. That's right. Think of us like your secret benefactors, okay? Ah, uh, wow. Now, not that I'm not flattered and all, but I don't understand why us. I can explain that. Altera, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'm sure you see what I see. A peaceful, thriving metropolis. People and Pokemon live together harmoniously. All thanks to the miracle of Flux Energy. But Altera is in danger. I know the three of you are aware of what I'm talking about. The Altar Pokemon. You've seen for yourselves the pain and destruction they cause. You with the glasses. Is Aster correct? According to your file, you were orphaned at a young age from an altar attack, were you not? Also, the professor is not actually such a tragedy. The professor is not actually his parent. Okay. I I don't they don't remember. They were only a baby when it happened. Still, what a shame. Sadly, such Stories are common in this region. Wouldn't it be nice if we could put an end to those kids? Kinds of stories forever. No more orphans. No more orphans. No more living in fear. You mean stopping the altar Pokemon for good? But no one knows what's causing the alteration. Oh, ho, ho, ho. remember that there you're talking to the head of research and development at Altair Corp. The truth is, Altair Corp. Altair Corp is working on a top secret project, Project Excalibur. If this succeeds, it could prevent altar attacks from ever happening again by stopping the alteration at its source. Hmm? At its source? A world without altar attacks? You really mean it? You figured out the cause? What is it? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to share any more details. Actually, even what I've just told you should be a matter of utmost secrecy. In reality, there is still the chance this project could fail. But that is where the three of you come in. The truth is that the three of you are relatively unknown trainers. That is a part of the reason we are interested. You see, we would like to carry out the first stage of this project in secret. Some of the more well-known trainers in the region, well, they're really famous. News crews follow them everywhere. If we reach out to them, then everyone in Altera would know about Project Excalibur before the day was over. We'd like to keep things on the down low until we've solved the alteration for good, that is. Oh, okay. So what do you want to do, want us to do exactly? Your role is to project, project. Your role in this project would be to take on special missions for, from us as you journey across Altera. Guys, I read slow, I read slow. So I'm sorry about that. It won't be, it won't interfere with your lead challenge. Although it might bring us, bring you a bring you into conflict more with more alter Pokemon, whatever. Though based on your past performance, I'd say you three will be more than capable of handling the challenge. In addition, you will visit the Western, Northern, and Eastern Flux Nexus. We'll have more specific instructions for you once you arrive at each of these places. I think of it like secret agents carrying out missions for the good of Altera. Of course, there will be plenty in it for the three of you as well. Money, special items, rare Pokemon, not to mention full sponsorship from Altair Corp when you qualify for the league championship. An auspicious start to the career of any young trainer, hmm? Yeah, no kidding. What do you think, bro? You've been awfully quiet. Don't you bro me, Akula? I think this plan of yours and Andromeda's, Andromeda's is foolhardy. Leaving the fate of Altera up to these three inexperienced or reckless children, I'm against it. Dear, dear brother, your imagination has always been sadly lacking. You missed my battle with Anima, so you didn't get to see that what Akila and I witnessed. These three trainers are special. Stars 
This bright, they only shine once in a generation. In time, they could even shine brighter than all stare. Hmm. How stubborn you are when you've already made up your mind, Andromeda. Fine, have your little pet project with these children. I'm far too busy for this nonsense. I have an investigator investor meeting to attend. Bro, I'm having a hard time breathing and this is a lot of dialogue and I read slowly, so damn. Come on. Word of warning. If the three of you breathe a word about what we spoke of today, if the world learns of Project Excalibur before it's ready, and the three of you can bid farewell to your promising careers as trainers. Altair Corp runs the Pokemon League. It would not be, it would not, it would be no matter to blocklist three trainers. Okay, keep that in mind. Ugh, man, way to bring down the mood. Please don't mind my brother. He's got a stick of his, well, he's stuck up, but he does have a point. It would be bad if we want, if what we talked about today left this room. Ahem. Anyway, enough of that. As a gesture of our goodwill, please accept these on behalf of Altier Corp. Altier Transceivers, okay. Those devices are a new technology Altier Corp invented. This is an upgrade to their flux bracer that allows it to act as a personal communicator. You can use those communi to communicate with each other and with us. And that's not all. Please accept this humble gift as a thank you. Oh, we got 10 bands. Whoa, whoa, are you sure? There's no strings attached. It's yours to keep. Consider it a taste of what's to come if you stick with us. Um, this is a lot to decide. Can we have some time to think about it first? Of course, of course. Feel free to discuss amongst yourselves. We won't reach out with any special missions for some time. When we do, you can decide if you would like to proceed. Though I dare say it will be worth your while. Now I must be getting back until whatever. I pressed that off without reading it. Ah, oh, I'm tired. You three, thanks for hearing us out. Well, I'll, we'll all be watching your career with interest. Now then, I'll show you the way out. Ah, come on, finally, damn. Whoa, so Altair Corp knows of a way to stop Altair Pokemon for good. If that's true, then it could change everything. It seems almost too good to be true. But I'd like to know what they have planned first. Project Excalibur, huh? Anima, what do you think? I think that you guys talk too much. Seems like a good opportunity. I'm a little skeptical. I don't know what to do. I'm a little skeptical. Me too. Though there don't seem to be any major drawbacks from what I can see. Until we know the details of the plan, it's hard to say for sure. Still, we don't exactly have a choice, do we? Yeah, I mean, they kind of force us to agree to work for them. It's like before at the power plant, pushing people around just cause they have money. So, where do we go from here? Obviously, we need to collect more League Emblems. The next one is in Corvo City. That's a long way away. We'd have to head north through the Badlands Desert and get there. I heard there's major sandstorm there. When that's cleared up, we can continue our journeys. We need to get stronger by battling and catching all kinds of Pokemon and defeating Alter Pokemon too. Nima, Esther, I'm so excited to continue our journey together. I'll see you later. See you around, Anima. Thank you for playing Pokemon Flux Episode 1. This is the end of the content for this version. Feel free to continue exploring Altera. There may be new secrets and side quests to explore and discover, or use the game's online features to trade with your friends. Note that in this version, your Pokemon cannot increase in level past 30. Okay, we look forward to bringing your Pokemon content in the future. News and updates, follow us on Twitter, Pokemon Flux. You're welcome to share your thoughts, feedback, and fan content at the Discord, whatever. Thank you. Thank you guys, JV, Oripoke, and Pokemon Flux team. And stay tuned to Pokemon Flux. All right, guys, that was a good game. That was a good game. I like it, I like it. I like it, it's beautiful. It has a nice story, even though the dialogue is quite much. All right, the only thing I would say, yo, the battles are very slow. I don't know, you guys, I read your thing. You guys said you're not going to add the speed up button. But if the overall game could be like a touch faster, like half a touch faster, like 1.5 speed, that would be great. Or even just the battles. And I mean, 
to cope with all the dialogue and the amount of battles that we have to do. Also, the wild Pokemon, all of them, all of them are stage one Pokemon, so it's really hard to grind on stage one Pokemon. All right, guys. So, um, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna do. I think there's a bit of exploring to do. I, I got this message thing here that says "Come to Alba Town." I kind of read it off screen, so it says, "Hey, Anima." These Altier, Altier receiver things are pretty cool, aren't they? Now we can send each other hollow messages like this new, right? Anyway, I wanted to tell you, I'm in Alba town right now, and there's something weird going on. It's a little spooky, but I'm sure with your help, we can get to the bottom of it. When you've got a minute, come find me in Alba town, and I'll tell you the details. Alright, so I'm gonna do this, and then end the episode after that. See? Sorry, I'm supposed to go on the map right here. Where's Alba Town again? Alba, 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 go coast, Alba Town, okay. Go there. So he's in Alba Town, but where in Alba Town is he? Is he down here? Oh, I'm just going down here to check if there's another Sluchu that spawned. Yeah, there's it. It's the only one that spawns here. It only spawns one at a time. We're lucky to know that it, it respawns if you need another one. It's a very good Pokemon too. Let's go find Sky. Is he at the school? Is he at the school? Sky, 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 where are you? Where? Oh. A hiccup. You said find him in Alba Town, bro, but where is he? Oh, is he? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Yeah, Leo, Leo and I got expelled, so what? Actually, because of my good record, they're letting me finish out my classes first. After that, I'm out of here. Don't think you've seen the last of me. I'll beat you next time. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Well, it's not. That's not Sky. Sky has blue hair, right? I wish they had said where in Alba Town he is. Which they had said, we're in Alba Town. He is. It just says mystery in Alba Town. All right, so he's not in here. I should edit this out, right? No running in the halls. Okay, damn. Shit kind of startled me. Oh, so that's a principle. Not who I'm looking for, so I'm not going to speak to that person. Get out of here, bro. Let me go and find Sky 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 Like seriously, where is this guy? Locked. Where is this guy? Not in here. I know I shouldn't be expecting him to be. By the way, how do I get an, a shout in? Like so many of the NPCs, the, the uh, other characters in the game have a shout in. Do I have an a shout in? Did I catch one? Can't recall. This guy's head is, is huge, bro. It's huge from the side. Is Sky in the Poké Center? No. Um, 
All right, found him. He, he was right down below the street that went to the place that led to the beach where Slow True is. Anima, it's you. Do you get my transceiver message? Well, either way, there's something spooky going on in this town. Both our powers combined, I bet we can crack it. This is my friend I told you about. Anima is one of the smartest and strongest trainers I know. Would you mind telling Anima what you told me? I. I'm a sailor. The high seas are my home. As you know, we sailors can be superstitious a lot. Me and my ship's crew docked here in Alba Town. We only meant to stay for a little while, but last night we heard the creepiest sounds out in the bay. It sounded like a crying babe. My whole crew is convinced it's a bad omen. They're in mutiny, refusing to set sail until whatever it is is dealt with. I tried talking to the authorities, but they said we're just being superstitious, but I know what I heard. Please, for the sake of my ship, find out what's making that god-awful noise. So yeah, that's what I called you about. This mystery, this mystery is too juicy to ignore. I'm gonna ask around town to see if anyone's heard anything. I'll start with the academy. Meet me there when class is lit out at 5 in the afternoon. We'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, so I guess I have to use the wait feature. What time is it now? 7 a.m. Wait until 7 a.m. I have to wait until 5 in the afternoon. Alright, let's go. I should have went there first and then press wait, right? Alright, here he is. Good, you're here. Trying to talk to some of these students around here. I bet somebody knows something. Ah, uh, ghost in the cold? Sorry, I don't have any have time for frivolous nonsense like that. Hello, hello. Ah, Anima, it's you again. We're gearing up for another school tournament. This time the prize is a rare Pokemon egg. Yeah, I guess I'll do that afterwards, but not now. You want to know if I think about sounds and cold? Chances are it's a Pokemon. There are plenty of Pokemon capable of imitating human-like sounds. It's probably nothing to worry about. Total one of one one of three clues found. You want to know? Oh no, bro! Get out! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away. Hey, you want to know what I know about the beach cove? I'll tell you what I know. If you can beat me in a Pokemon, oh. All right, so whoop that guy's eyes. Yeah, I heard the noises. Promise me you won't tell. My friends and I dared each other so to go down to the cove at night. That's when we all heard it. At first it sounded like someone crying, then there was a deep, low, loud sound. It nearly scared the pants off of off us. We all ran away. None of us have been back to the cove since. If you want to find it yourself, go to the cove around midnight, unless you're chicken. All right, so we need one more clue. Does Baldi have anything? Yeah, I lost to a kid, so what? Okay. Making money as a Pokemon trainer is hard unless you're good. Maybe I'll just get a real job instead. Are you a new student? I haven't seen you around before. Nah. They're asking if I heard spooky sounds coming from the cove at night. I don't really leave campus, so I haven't heard anything like that. So I guess this one and this one is going to battle us, right? My birds and I will someday soar beyond this place. Okay, this is one. The spooky. Kiki, kiki, kiki. The ghost whisper person, whatever they are. The Chandler. You want to know what I think about the noises in the cove? Are you sure you want to know? Because once you learn, you can unlearn. Yes. Don't say that. Don't say I didn't warn you. I heard this from a graduating senior. Apparently years back, there was a student that went missing. Supposedly, they went for a swim in the cove at night. They were never seen again. But ever since that day, people have been hearing sounds in the cove at night. So if you ask me, it's definitely haunted. Kiki kiki. All right, so yeah, yeah. We got three clues. All done making the rounds, Anima. Let's put our heads together and compare what we found. Oh. Hmm. Looks like we got conflicting info. Some people claim it's a Pokemon, while others saying it's a ghost of a student. But there's one thing they all can agree on. It only happens in the cove at midnight. Okay, Anima, you know what happens next, right? 
We've got to see for ourselves. We're strong trainers, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. Meet me at the cove to the east of town at midnight. We'll get, the, get to the bottom of this. Yeah, we'll definitely do, bro. Let me just heal my mons from that blast battle. Matter of fact, only Zoro needs to be healed, but yeah. And Zoro is not learning any moves though. He only has Hex and Shadow, Shadow Sneak, Horn Claws, and whatever else that other one is. Oh, it's night already? Alright, so let's go down here and then. Use the wait function until midnight. <sighs> Alright, so let's wait inside here just in case it needs to we need to have to activate the events. So wait until 12 a.m. <laughs> There's Sky. Anima, you made it. All right, we're both here now. Let's get to the bottom of this mystery together. S Sky joined me. Ugh, keep dropping my, the controller. Let's get to the bottom of this mystery together. Oh, there's a Pokemon. It's one of those things that the, the, the champion gave one of them. Hey. Do you see that? Something moved. Let's go after it. Kid, kid! Oh, of course. The thing making noise was a cell kid. They're known for making childlike sounds. It's okay, little guy. Whatever. It, it went off before I finished reading it. That always happens to me. Darn it. We won't be able to reach it there. Well, we've solved the mystery at least. Anima, let's go back and tell the others. Bro, what the hell? That That's not a cell kid. What is this? Something's coming up. Like a shadow. Why, why you guys have automatically skipping text? I don't like that. Let me skip the text. Don't skip the text automatically, bro. So it's a wishy-washy. A regular wishy-washy this time, not the the dark one that turns into the Kraken. Alright, so I think I should switch out to Sluchu and use some electric attacks. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get to the point, get to the bottom of this, bro. Gerbal to use quick charge. All of a sudden, this thing got an R and turned into a freaking. Um, a freaking altar Pokemon. Not very effective. It took out the Gerbalta though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Serentide, that's what Selkid evolves to, right? Alright, cool, cool. We got that. Now we still didn't get enough EXP, bro. Like 200 EXP from that. Oh, phew. That was a great battle, my Nima. It's always fun to battle along alongside you. There's a Cell Kid coming back. Hey, little guy. It looks like it's our battle. Does it want to join your team? Kiki. Ha, ah, all right. I already have a Serentide. But my buddy Anima will take good care of you. I promise. Cell Kid. So, okay, we get Cell Kid. Cool, so I guess we're gonna get another event to do the other one, right? Sea Nymph Pokemon. 
Would you like to give a nickname? Uh, Serena, as in Serene C, Serene Sounds, okay. Our work is done, I think. Let's go and tell the sailor what happened here. And that's pretty much what happened. I get it now. Selkid was probably trying to warn the sailors about the real danger. It's a good thing your crew listened. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Superstition is good for some things after all. Glad it worked out. Now that we took care of the altar wishy-washy, it should be peaceful in the cove again. How can I thank you? Oh, this might do. It's a good luck charm for the high seas. Mystic water, okay. We'd better set sail now so the coast, the coast is clear. Anchor away. It was fun solving mysteries with you, Anima. While I'm here, I think I'll give the Alba School tournament another go. You could always give it a go too. See you around. Alright, so let's check the transceiver. Let's see if we got another one from the other. Alright, not yet. But guys, thank you for watching. This is where I'm going to end it. Watch it. Big up your damn self, bad man. Charges. See you in the next game we play. Bye.